And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Macabre Monday stream. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to the week. It is yet again a Monday. I hope that the work week ahead is nice and kind to you all because you all deserve it. But how are you, my lovelies? I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. I've had a pretty good day. Um... Usually on Mondays I go through uh, all the different discords I'm a part of and uh, different websites and stuff like that looking for auditions to uh, submit to and yeah lots of cool things um, that I need to now sit down and record for. <laughs> Oh, but what else? Um, yesterday I had another night at uh, Combat Lab, which is the two-hour uh, stage combat workshop, and we got to do knives, and that was a lot of fun. So uh, I did get uh, the choreographed uh, sequence uh, on video, so I'll be hopefully posting that soon. Might even post that tonight. I might post that tonight, actually. <laughs> Hey, Scarakomi, how's it going? Evening, Steph. I'm doing okay. Feeling a bit ill, uh, but I did finish my last performing arts exam today. Good on you. I'm uh, hopping in and out of stream. It's all good. It's all good, Scarakomi, and congratulations on finishing your exam. Oh, Sam, it's all good. Like, okay, you guys give me shit for not resting properly. I got four hours of sleep last night. Don't read too much into that. But, Sam, if you are physically ill, like, actually physically ill, you need to lie down. It's okay. <laughs> or you could sleep tonight. You know, just a thought. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful Canada day. Right now I'm trying to get my uh, smoker going so I can smoke a brisket. Oh, smoke brisket is the best. And yes, happy Canada day to all of you lovely Canadians. I'm having a pretty good day uh, so far as well. My body's getting slowly better from the move. And happy Canada Day! Yay! Thankfully, I don't work till Thursday. Awesome. Good on you, Alex. Also, uh, I just had like a brain blast moment. So, uh, the game studio who made Fran Bao and uh, Little Miss Fortune is called uh, Kill Monday Games. And I chose this game for my Macabre Monday stream. Either I had like a fifth dimensional like foresight to pick this game for my Monday streams or a happy coincidence. I'm choosing to go with the former. <laughs> I could work through the pain. Once the leg is numb from the pain, I'll be good. Sam. That's like putting a band-aid on a bullet hole. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you take care of yourself, okay? Very on the nose of you, Steph. Oh, am I just a genius or was it just a happy accident? Or like painting a little tree, it's just a happy accident. <laughs> oh, but what else? Um, oh, uh, one thing that's quite important is uh, one of my uh, amazing new friends that I've made uh, through combat, uh, stage combat, um, we've, we've fought. And it has been great. And uh, she's really, really cool. Uh, she told me about this cool thing happening next week, which is a very cool uh, expo and conference that's happening outside of London. So um, that takes place in the middle of next week. So I won't be streaming next Wednesday because by the time I get back to London from uh, the expo that's out of town, uh, it's going to be really late at night, and I want to really make the most of this expo, try and meet some really cool, amazing people. So, yeah, just a heads up, I won't be streaming next Wednesday, so it's all good. But yeah, I'll put out an official, like, heads up about it um, when it gets closer to the date, like, on the Monday of the week. Um, but yeah, just a quick heads up while I have you here, my lovelies. Blah, blah. Ah. But I'll tell you what, I am sore. I... Because at the moment, uh, my gym is uh, doing some renovations, so they have to close off a whole section of it, so it means less space and less equipment for people to use at the gym. So that means if I want to go to the gym and use the equipment that I like, then I've got to get there really early. And by really early, I mean 6am, when it opens. So, <laughs> got home from stage combat. Re tried to relax the rest of the evening. Went to bed about midnight-ish. Woke up at 5.30. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm going to have a good night's sleep tonight. 
I'm, I'm just gonna pass out. <laughs> Perfectly understandable, go make friends. I'm doing my best. Like, honestly, fighting together safely with, like, stage safe weapons made of foam and plastic uh, and wood, it's an amazing bonding experience because there's, there's a lot of trust that goes into stage combat so that you both look really, really cool and you stay really, really safe. Also, Cool Hunter the Parenting Cameo. Why, thank you, Svala Holder. Thank you so much. Um, yes, if you haven't checked it out, uh, I uh, provide one of the voices in the latest Hunter the Parenting short that came out, Kevin's First Day. God damn it. I just... I love this little freak so much. <laughs> like, look at him. That is, like, the most adorable fucking face ever. <laughs> He's a little... Blood drinking psychopath and I love him. Hang on. Can he kind of perch there? Hang on. Because I, normally I have him like placed uh, on the table behind me, but I'm just trying to find a way that he's a little bit closer, maybe. Ugh. Sit. Sit properly, Kevin! No, you could just perch there ominously on top of my D&D books like normal. Ugh. There we go. Uh, want me to provide a link, uh, to it? No, it's okay, Sam. Um, people can, uh, check it out for themselves. But yeah, if you're a fan of Hunter the Parenting, uh, then absolutely go check out, uh, Brother Alpha Abuse's channel, because that's where you can watch all the amazing episodes of Hunter the Parenting, including all the audio logs and the shorts as well. And a very cool new thing called, um, uh, Norfolk, uh, Wizard Game. So, that, if you like actual play, uh, campaigns in the World of Darkness, uh, they're doing a mage game, and it's really, really cool, and it's a lot of fun. It's very spooky. Steph, I may not may not be drawing Night Angel again. Yes, please. And don't forget to tag me. I'd love to see it. <laughs> Speaking of uh, combat class, you should have channeled your inner Aussie and say the ancient proverb of, That's not a knife. This is a knife. I, not gonna lie, I was kind of like... I could feel the Aussie rising within me uh, with every slash of my blade. But when you've got a million other things going on in your head, um, the jokes are kind of like, okay, I just want to focus on keeping my partner safe. <laughs> ah, but how are we doing for time, my lovelies? Ah, are we ready to get stuck into playing Fran Bo? Because I have been wanting to play in this game for a very long time. Um, but it's one of those games that... I felt like I would really enjoy more if I streamed it and kind of shared my experience going through it. Um, because it's been out for a while and I've heard nothing but incredible things about it. Uh, many of my friends are big fans of this game and I love me a good point and click adventure game. Um, so yes, let's jump over to the main screen, uh, main, main screen, the main screen and we will go have a look. All right, everything else is looking good to go. Um, Oh, but first and foremost, uh, Paciencias, thank you so much for the eight-month resub. I'm feeling a bit tired and sleepy today, but I always enjoy stopping by and seeing you. Have a good stream. Thank you so much, Paciencias, for the resub. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for dropping by. Um, yes, uh, just a quick heads up. With Franbo, it does deal with some very dark subject matter, and the, similar to, uh, Bramble the Mountain King, it is a young child in a lot of peril and danger and harm does come their way along the course of their journey. Uh, there are very adult themes of uh, violence, um, harassment, uh, body elements of body horror, a lot of gore. So please proceed carefully. Take care of yourself for, first and foremost, um, especially because this game also deals with a lot of things like uh, struggles with mental health, with uh, medication and things like that, uh, which can be quite distressing for people who um, have experience with therapists, uh, psychiatric institutions and medications. So please, first and foremost, take care of yourselves. Alrighty, so shall we begin? Oh, why thank you, Samuel. I I washed my hair last night and it feels especially nice today. <laughs> Alrighty, let's begin, shall we? Always good. Everything's fine. And yes, I will be doing narrations. It feels like heaven. 
I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. My only friend. Oh, I love cats so much. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun! It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. It's Monday night for us too. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Protect me, Mr. Midnight. Mm. Mm. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Okay, uh, so because it is slightly cut off the dialogue choices, um, it's uh, cut off a bit by my banner, I'll read out what the options are. So either I'm fine, I guess, or I feel like dying. <sighs> Fran, you're gonna be strong. I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everyone has within. So, options. I want to find the killer or want to go home. I will say, wanting to go home is kind of bittersweet because her parents are gone, so I would want to find the killer. Be brave. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. Okay, options, I'll find my cat and the killer, or nobody's doing anything. I want to find Mr. Midnight. I'll find the killer, and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it, and oh really are our options? I think they're kind of the same. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Interacting with objects. This was my mother's purse. <gasps> Open it. There's something inside. 
use art group. Okay, cool. Let's examine it. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Tutorial. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all, uh, give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Uh, options are Aunt Grace or I'm worried too. Let's ask about Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace? Well, that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her, she's fine. Okay, options. So tired of all this and can I leave now? I'm gonna go with can I leave now, please? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Uh, what medicine or no more medicine? What medicine do you speak of? What medicine? It's called duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Sorry, Dern? I'll say that's Dern. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Take my meds. I don't feel good. Yeah, that's uh, not so good for you, friend. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. We saw where the centibites come from. <laughs> Beware, Fran Bao. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you and bring you back to insanity. Mm. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. Also, happy taps with the black cat. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Well, there's a clown picture on, a wall, on the wall that's immediately ominous. Let's start the great adventure of clicking around on every object. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Uh, case 2506200915000. Fran Bo uh, Dagenhart, age 10, gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bow Dan uh, Dagenhart family tragedy. Uh, the Bow Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Okay, this is taking place in the 40s. Psycho... what? Not that at all. I'll get your nose, I'll get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Locked. Good reason to be curious. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. I don't want to, I just woke up. I was seeing if there was anything under the pillows, maybe. Scary nightmares, no thanks. Red and Tiny You are hiding from me. Red and Tiny Okay, why well, interesting drawing with her and a bottle of pills. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. 
Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. We can still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay, uh, let's go to the right side first. Ooh. Ooh, a secret box. Shh. Let's examine it. A wooden box. It's open. A key. This will suddenly open something. Okay, good, good, good. I hope somebody loves you. Hey kid, how you doing? Hello Phil. Hello. Okay, uh, no any way out or how are you? Let's ask how he is, try and warm him up a little bit before asking for, uh, for help. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid or- I have to go find Kitty now, bye! <laughs> They're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me or I'll try and find Kitty, bye. <laughs> I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is, uh, the, office is the key. There's a key inside or I'll go there and see. Bye! Always a quick way to end the conversation. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code, or I'll see if I can find it, bye. <laughs> a secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Okay, it seems that the option, um, I know you guys can't see it, but the option d that's down here on the right is like to end the conversation. So I'll just go with what feels like it's naturally progressing the conversation on. Who? Him. Spooky time. <laughs> All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games, and no one will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Okay. We got friends on the other side. <laughs> Robin Fee, thank you so much for the 22 month resub. Him from Powerpuff Girls? Don't get me started. I adore him from the Powerpuff Girls. Like, he was probably one of my first, like, favorite villains ever. I, I genuinely love him so much. Just so, so cool. <laughs> but thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. Mike, no! Get back in here. Get back in here and you stay here comes into stream hearing leave me alone I hate you well okay then peace out everyone no Mike come back I'm sorry help me daddy I need you so much right now I used to have a blue dress like yours okay uh, case one two one one four five five three six Fillmore Bronstone age eight gender male History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia uh, not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's, patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Oh, Mr. Wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? I, I like Fran. I like it. That she's got a good amount of sass to her. Oh, pick up everything. Yes, that'll be useful for later. And it's really good to see you, Mike. Thank you so much for dropping by. Hey, Brian, it's all good. Feel free to stay as long as you like. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Hmm. Dismal once again. Not exactly a scenic view, is it, Fran? Tower defense. We have a crazy person for you called Fran. Okay. Let's look to the other side. My legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glasses. Nothing useful. Okay, can't interact with anything else. 
Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. Okay, I want to see if that key works on the, uh... Draw there. There we go. Yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Oh, bobby pin and a photo. Oh, it's the parents in our grace. Mr. Midnight, the best kitty in the world. This game's a great way for Steph to practice her higher pitch voices. It kind of is. Like, I'm trying not to do too cartoony a sounding voice for Fran. Just kind of make her a little soft spoken and just a little higher in the voice, but not not too high, not like Pixie voice, where it's just a little bit too over the top. Hey. Are those cigarettes? Can I have some? Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep and... Yes! Period. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine or so many days? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Something happened and I did something. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Oh, yes. And then we can say broke the cones and get her away from the desk. Okay, so broke the cones or nothing. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. I'll follow you in a second. Guess the nurse won't ever let me touch anything. I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Okay, maybe she has to like leave the room. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Okay, options are saw nothing and what's a hook? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, so the dialogue options are down here, but the, my banner for showing off my uh, amazing followers and subs, um, it kind of cuts it off just a little bit, so that's why I'm reading out the different options before selecting one. Okay, so, saw nothing, and what's a hook? No, miss, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something to fix this. You little girl. Okay, there we go. Now she's left. Now I can look at her notes. Ew. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. Good, take that. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe uh, deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or, uh, or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, uh, parietal lobe uh, is number four, five occipital lobe, and six temporal lobe. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctors love to say. Okay, room number four, nursing visit report. Actually, I'm going to get pen and paper because I'm probably going to have to take notes on codes and such. Uh, Gladys. Her name's Gladys. I don't know what that last name is. Uh, patient named Fran Bo uh, Dagenhart. Patient behavior description. The patient has been sleeping almost all, all the time. Sorry, her handwriting's very cur uh, curly, so I'm taking time to try and figure this out. She only wakes up to drink water, uh, but I don't think she remembers She remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social in three days now. Some kids have come around and uh, asked about her and when she would uh, and when she would come out and play. Okay, uh, the duotine. 
So, let me look at that. It's... So, H and 8 is highlighted, so I made a note of that. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! Yeah, why does the nurse have a gun? In the children's ward? I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh, okay. So, aha, I I know what we have to do now. There's a code to this. Okay, I don't need to use a band-aid at the moment. The pills are inside. I just know it. I just have to crack the code. Or can I use the hair clip on it? Oh, it won't work. Okay, fine. Uh, so age was eight. Nine, four, five. Hey, the pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Okie dokie, Loki. Uh, so we have a lovely bottle of pills. Okay, let's uh, pop one here. This is fine. Okay, and now we have a whole different world we can collect things from. Okay. Hello, Miss Nurse. Great. I love that she's so on face by all this. Watch your step. Got a little blood in your mouth. Are you okay? Get out, creepy creature. Okay, let's keep moving then. Oh, okay, now we can go down there. Well, that's, um, ominous. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Where did the clown go? Mm, oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Who did it? Who murdered my parents? Oh, now we can see the spirit that's tormenting the boy. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. You can see. So to happiness, we go through the door or we can go down the stairs. Hello? Oh no, your head! Of course it's locked. Okay, let's go down the stairs then. Uh, I don't like that the clown's loose. I don't like that the clown's loose. Ooh. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. Reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. Mm. Oh my god, did I pass out again? The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Also, yes, I'm going to be trying to read these lines as in character as possible. Which is going to be really creepy. Red blood, you're hiding from me. Find him! Anything else changed? Nope, everything's just terrible. And there's death everywhere. Uh, okay, can I use the hairpin on the door? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Oh, can I combine? Yes! Oh, fantastic! 
My very own special key. Handmade key on the door. Yeah! Yes, to happiness! <gasps> what was that? He was cool. Daddy was not there. Mummy would not care. Okay. I want to look at the other people's rooms. There's the clown. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. You can see. Uh, okay, I... I'm not going to read the first sentence of that, but, uh, case 17198550222, sorry, 0200, Adelaidea Fugans, age 7, gender female. The patient went through some horrific experiences by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dern has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She is making progress. What is the rule on vaccinating here? Uh, thank you for asking, Robin. Um, please uh, don't vaccinate unless it's something I'm really, really missing. Um, because this is my first time playing, I want to explore it at my own pace. If I'm really stuck on something, then I'll actively ask chat for uh, what ad they should advise me that I try next. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Why do you look like a rag doll? Because trauma. Where did the clown go? Clown's in the toy box. Oh wait. Mm. You're my loved, beloved friend. <laughs> but I didn't check what was in her bedside drawer. Even the purest of things die in this place. Okay, so I was just remarking on the flowers. Try the bathroom before we go take the stairs. The king liked drawings. Mm. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't like this. Okay. What's this? This wasn't here before. all boarded up. Oh, I'm glad that you're enjoying all the creepy voices that I'm doing. Um, can I come out of taking my pills? Okay, there we go. Hi, sweetie. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. Teddy bear and many other things. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. Okay, we read what was on that sheet, so I'm not going to click it again. Oh, this one, those mute clowns. Hello. You see them? You do, right? What? And I don't. Bye. What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Okay, you know what they are, or I wish I didn't. I'm going to be curious and ask questions. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me please, and I have to go now. I do not like that clown painting. Sam, you need to banner that clown on my behalf. Be gone, evil clown! Hmm. Thank you for the hydrate check. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too. But tell me about the shadows. A crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Um. What are you drawing? Okay, well, the options were I want to find my cat and what are you drawing? Let's try and be nice to her. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. 
Okay, quite secretive, so I won't bother her then. Okay, has this changed? No. Seems to be fine. Ha, huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open or opened it with my key. Let's not incriminate ourselves. You left, but you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? And are you sure? How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. Oh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. Okay, I haven't eaten in days and my kitty told me to leave. Oh, let's try and maybe if we get some food. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something or I'm not making up excuses. Hmm. Please give me food? Doctor, sir, please, just let me out to eat something. You need you have to listen. Sorry, you have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Lesson learned and you big people. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. Hey, okay. I am a poor orphan child. I require sustenance. The gate is very locked. Okay, those look like some very important keys. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Sorry, sir. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I would give you the key. Oh! Oh, that's creepy. No! No, I don't even want to read that. Okay, options are you should kiss your butt or you'll give me the key. Fuck off, I'm not doing that. Like... What a bastard! You can kiss your butt! She's ten! Uh, okay, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Hi, you seem nice. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I wanted to know, or nothing, bye. <laughs> yeah, can I get the gun from the nurse's drawer and then come back downstairs and have a conversation with that guy, please? I wanted to know. I just want to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain or... I'll leave! Goodbye! <laughs> he ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you, I hope you find new thoughts. Bye! Let's have a look around. Hi, children. More creepy pla crown pla clown paintings. Clowns on the walls in the house of madness. The tiny hat is very sweet. Good night, shiny toys. Okay, let's look at what uh, is in the rooms normally. And then we'll go to nightmare mode. Isabel. Don't touch that. You'll die if you do. Waves, they didn't work. Oh, I see. But why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. The action men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? Little paper boat. Take me to the sea and beyond. <gasps> oh, that this pink sash is mine now. I sense we're going to have to combine those two. Yes. Now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. Keep looking around. 
Oh, good. I am hungry. Signal is weird. Mommy loved to paint roses. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Mr. Midnight, are you there? The sofa, made to be sat on. What have we here? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. Hey kid, you doing okay? Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you kill me, please? And then, sure, or I have to go. Bye. Fran, no, the nurse is right there. We're not killing this child. I have to go. Bye. Um, I have to go. Bye. A little lemonade. Ah, we got a cookie. Mm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. The salad looks fresh for once. Okay, I think we just grabbed a cookie and then we're fine. I'm not that thirsty. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? Okay, dialogue options are I see dead animals or fine. Let's not tell her about what we're seeing just yet. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're well. Carry on now. Ooh. Can you open the yellow door? Nurse, could you open the yellow door? That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. Okay. Oh, so sorry, miss. I didn't mean to say anything inappropriate. Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. I'm trying to play Fran quite smart, so she's trying not to make people suspicious of her. Hey, Mockingjay, go ahead, ask a question. Betty Bird, I like you. I don't want this, I'm not hungry. I do want to talk to that girl, maybe, if I can. Or is she just kind of wandering? Hi, Annie. How are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magic stuff. Yes, please. More items. Really? Ooh. Yes, the magical stuff that'll make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing, powerful, and grand. Here, it's a gift. Take it slowly. Oh, okay. I think that's why we picked up the cookie. Alright, how does it work? I have no idea. Okay. It's drugs. Uh, I just came to the channel and got a strange rule alert about game requests. It looks uh, different compared to the others. Anyone else got that warning? Um, I don't know. Normally if you enter chat, like the rules of the stream come up. Um, and I haven't adjusted them recently. Stick. Don't touch my sword. Okay, sorry. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. You're not the king. What? You're not the king. I'm only the king of the whole universe. Bow to me. Oh, maybe if we play Satan, he'll do something nice for us. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? Oh, okay. Can we take the cane? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword?
Yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Okay. Castle and a horse. This door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. A castle and a horse. Gonna have to go looking around some of the rooms then, I think. Although, let's go nightmare mode and see if there's anything I haven't seen yet. Everything is awesome. It's alive! Oh, the playground looks lovely this time of night. And a holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, oh, how ooh, she can sense what happened to these kids, and uh, that was n not okay. They hide you because they love you. Oh, great, the nurse is dead. Oh, no, the nurse lady died. I will laugh at you. Teddy, what are you doing there? That child's dead now. Look at me. I say you're beautiful. I give you poison to eat. Castle and horses. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. Elephant, sir, you're very pink and soft. Hey, Desiree, hello. I've been excited for the stream since I heard you were going to play it. That's awesome, thank you. Um, I've been looking forward to this game and getting to stream it for so long, so I'm really, really glad that you're here with us. Hmm. We need a castle and a horse. Hang on. Okay, he's still fine. Castle and a horse. Like, there was a rocking horse back there. Like, can we take something from that? Uh, reach the key. Sticky body parts. Ew, a crunchy pig's head, ready to be served. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Since you're playing this, are you considering playing Little Misfortune afterwards? Yes, absolutely. Um, I did intentionally look up if I should play Franbau or Little Misfortune first, and I decided I wanted to do Franbau first, because then when, uh, because I have heard there's references in Little Misfortune to Franbau, so I wanted to be able to hopefully pick up on a few of those. Oh, and this clock sounds odd. Feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hello up there, miss. A bleeding clock. Okay, so a castle and a horse. Let me have a look at the rocking horse. Don't seem to be able to do anything with that. Hmm. What am I missing? Okay. Maybe we have to knock him out and then we can go in there, into the office, and then that has what we need. Because I think... Oh, this is a magical cake now! A sleepy, sleepy cake. Trying things out is good, but in this case it won't do any good. Okay, maybe it's the nurse then? We have to try it on? Hmm. 
So that definitely feels like we've got the hook so that we can maybe try and hook and get the key. No, actually, we'll probably need the cane to get the key. In which case, okay, we've got a drugged bun, but that didn't seem to work on the guard. Yeah, I just tried using the cake on the guard, so let me just give that again. I can't do that. Okay, that wasn't the right combination. The only other person we can interact with is, um, the nurse. Or... Can we give, um, the bun to the child and then take his cane? That, um, that feels terrible, but that might be what we have to do. Nothing. Of course, what was I thinking? I'm sorry, Fran. I'm- This is a point-and-click adventure game. I'm trying to find solutions. Maybe on this nurse. This authority figure. Oh, things not working makes me angry. It makes me angry too, Fran. Okay, so not meant to work on you. Hmm. Oh yeah, men uh, mental assignments and uh, asylums and psychiatric hospitals were just terrible during this time period because this is set in the 40s especially so it's just before the end of World War II and oh boy did some terrible shit go down in institutions like this. Okay, what am I missing? Got band-aids, a drugged cinnamon bun, and a hook with that. Hmm. Hang on. Cause I can't think of like where we find a, a castle and a horse. Cause we interacted with the um, wooden horse and that didn't do anything. What am I missing? Can we go through there? No, that's sealed up. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness is blowing through this fence. Hmm. What am I missing? Okay. Well, I should go now. Good luck. Hmm. No, I don't seem to be able to, like, uncombine it. So if it's combined, it must mean that it's correct. And I just need to find the right person to use it on. Yeah, we've seen all now all the rooms that we can interact with for now, so where would the castle be? Sofa made to be sat on. Huh. I might need a little bit of a nudge because I'm kind of confused. There doesn't seem to be a kitchen area. It only seems to be like the cafeteria area that's through here. Yes, I'm open to a gentle nudge in the right direction. Just don't out straight tell me how to uh, answer it. No, honestly, Sam, because I think you wanted to see how this game plays out and you haven't played it yourself, don't spoiler yourself uh, looking up a guide for me. If someone has already played it and wants to chime in, then they can do it. Uh...
Okay, yeah, let's try asking the guard if we can maybe offer him the cake rather than just using it. Uh. Come on. Very own cake recipe. Okay, what we need is in the room of the TV boy. Can I... Hmm. A boat. Action man. Okay, she's heavily sedated, so don't seem to be able to interact with him. Do we need to use the cake on him? Hang on, huh? I don't feel, think it'll fit me anyways. Toy box. Okay, what am I missing here? Okay. I'm in the TV, yay! Oh. No, wasn't it set to eight? With the pills? Hmm. I think I see something. Or not. Oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. No, I just seem to be able to interact with his body, not the papers. Hmm. Yeah, when I tried in the real world, he won't, like, let me touch it. Oh, no, wait. So we interact with the TV in the nightmare world, and then it works now. Okay. It works, it works. It's a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, oh, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Thank you, but you told me that would kill me. I never said that, you liar. I'm busy. Paper vision revision in action. Okay, paper it is then. Well, now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Okay, and there was a girl with crayons. So, I think I can maybe draw a horse in a castle then? Oh, she was in here. That's mine, my crayons. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up. But when I want to draw, I can't. Okay, so it's me too sometimes, or they're crazy. Let's try and be kind. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh, sweetie. Please kill me, yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. I have band-aids. I have band-aids. Yeah. Good on you, Fran. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Yay! Okay. 
Can we draw? There we go. Oh, I'll draw something special for the king. We got a drawing. Keep walking. What do we have here? Chocolate. Mmm. Okay, let's give that to the king. Oh, it's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamed of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Yes. Okay. The walking cane. The walking cane feels like that will be used to get the um the key down because it's at a big height. But how do we get rid of the guard? Someone in chat mentioned coffee, but I don't seem to be able to interact with it. I don't like bitter coffee. Hmm. Let's talk to the nurse again. Fran, what is it now? Can I borrow your magazine? No. Hmm. Yeah, can I hit the guard with it? <laughs> I want to smack his stupid head. I'm not sure what to do with this. Uh, so you grip it tightly and then you hit very hard, friend. <laughs> yeah, I'll see if I can combine the coffee with the... Coffee table. No, that won't do, apparently. Missing for the guard. Because it definitely feels like the cane is what we need to get the key down. But what am I missing for, like, this interaction? Because the guard just seems to have just that one line of, like, oh, let me give you the key if you give me a kiss, which, no, we're not going to do. And the nurse doesn't seem to be cooperative either. Friend, what is it now? Nothing. Proud I told you, go mind your own business, I'm very busy. Apparently so. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if I can combine the sword with something. Uh. Yeah, and even then I can't interact with the coffee. Can I use this on... Hmm. Can I use this to get rid of the shadow? To wake up Isabel, maybe? Huh. Yeah, the guard isn't here in the spooky realm, but neither is the office door. So, like, this whole section is just gross. <laughs> Page the key. Yes, we have the cane to use the key. Okay, so that's combined. Now I can reach high. Uh, so then we can get the key, but we have to get past the guard first. Now I can use it. Still won't even try that. Okay. What am I missing? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just try just grabbing the keys in front of the guard. Hey, 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 give me that. You can't take that key. You can't take what's mine. Give it back to me. Shut up, you don't make the rules I do. This toy of yours will stay with me from now on. You bastard, I'll get it back, I will. Do whatever you want, I'll never leave this chair. Okay. Now can I use the cookie on him? There we go, okay. So, there was some extra steps to that, but I had the, the right idea, just needed a few extra steps. So, dialogue. I brought this cake for you, or a cake. Eat it. Okay, please, Mr. Guard, please give me my toy back and fall asleep. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Okay, make your life sweeter or you'll regret it. Please take it, it will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter, now leave. You don't want it? No, now leave me alone. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey Gladys, could you do me a favor? Zeno, thank you so much for the three month resub. I don't know whether to be refreshed or worried at Steph's, uh, Stephanie's frame. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for the resub, Zeno. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I know. Can I jam the crayon in the guard's ear? Maybe that'll work. Sure, anything but bring coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. I could take coffee to the guard. Oh goodness, sorry, lovely fingers. This coffee is hot. Okay, combine drugged cinnamon bun with very, very hot coffee. Huh. Can't combine that for some reason. Okay, I have coffee. For the guard. Here's your hot, hot coffee, sir. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. God, it burns like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. <laughs> That's right, walk away. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna use that. Yay! Got you, now I can unlock the office. Prick deserved it. Mental health global week, great. Testing day, every day is testing day. Can't really read the rest of these. Uh, mental disorders, you are not alone. Dr. Marcel, turn off, okay, ooh. One second, we have codes for clues. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. December 17th equals, huh? And then July 25th equals, huh? October and November. I guess we're in October now. Hmm. Do I have to look up the calendar for 1944? What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. An interview with Dr. Dern about working with children. Oh, I love to open mail, but this isn't for me. Yellow typewriter. Zeno, thank you so, so much for the five gifted community subs. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you so much, Zeno. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh. 
Please don't kill me. No! Absolutely not. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, Zeno. Always good to carry an extra key. Oh, this might be the key to get outside, but we have to uh, get rid of the alarm first. No pictures of funny riddles. The doctor ate an apple. Vision, taste, and hearing. I don't really know what this is. Yes, we're gonna rescue the kids. We're gonna get out of here. But these books are all the same. I hate this bed. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. Well, that's ominous. What do you mean? <gasps> you little shit! How dare you! Cool air comes out of it, like the wind. Phil, le please let me out! I wish this key holder had all its keys. Okay. Can I use that? Oh, things not working makes me angry. Oh, what what do I do? Ah! I've seen this before. What does it mean? Um. So we got this. Alarm code note on. Yeah. I'll see. Can I combine that with the calendar and it'll give me the the answer? Okay, December. Is it a math problem or something? Like, subtract 12, like it's 12 minus 7 or something? Because those look like single digits, or maybe that kind of looks like a 3? Hmm. Let's see what nightmare mode gives me. Ugh. Why, thank you, mysterious skeleton. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Oh dear, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Oh, take care, Mike. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, I think this is a math uh, equation. So it's 12 plus 17, which is 29. And 7 plus, uh, 25 plus 7 is 32. I know math. Here we go. But let's get out of this office. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Mm. Oh, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Careful. Oh! Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Great! Dangerous chemicals for me to play with! A mop that dances on the floor. Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. No water to wash my hands. Oh, the box is open. Let me see. <gasps> More pills. Huh, bad pills. I'll just take them to find my kitty. Yellow pills. Huh, they look like a lot more fun than the red ones. The gloves tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Scrapped label. Hmm. 
The patient 25062009150000 is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplomatin dose up to 1700 milligrams. That sounds like a lot, whatever that particular chemical is. Change the container so it looks like an improved variant of duotine. Okay, so what is Fran taking? Micrograms. Okay, micrograms. That's that's a lot more reasonable than milligrams. <laughs> There's nothing under the blanket. Oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. Ooh, okay. Well, we have a lot of cool little things we can work with. Didn't seem I could pick up anything else down here, so let's go upstairs, I think. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. It's locked. Is this key the right one? Yeah! If you struggle, you know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. No, not Mr. Midnight. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Oh, why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. We will get you, Mr. Midnight. Wake up, Fran. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Okay, can I go back upstairs? Okay, it is open, but I want to see down here if there's anything I'm missing. Oh great, just skulls. Lies in a box. Oh, thank you for the stretch check. Ah, thank you. Ah. Go. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check. Mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Anything different around here? Oh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything new around here other than skulls. Oh, this is great! My path to life has been denied. I can't blame those who are ignorant. Okay, let's look normal mode. Operating room, patient Robert Clark, psychosurgery procedure, lobotomy. That was the kid in front of the TV. I think he was Robert. Dr. Roman Bates, observation, failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was cancelled and incomplete. Great. Oh, this is fine. Mmm, this is not fine. This is fine. Oh. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, so I did go all the way around. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Franbo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to keep the key there. 
Calm down, the key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Is she going to walk away? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Wow, the reception already. This is grand. I don't know what the... Okay. I think the code is right for the um, escape thing. So it's like 2932. How do we, oh, let me just read that again. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. How do we get rid of her, though? Or do we just go up to it? At the end of the maze. Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. Skinny. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. The key holder has no keys to hold. Oh my goodness, are you okay, little baby? Oh, that's um, that's horrifying. Can I just go up and touch the thing? I feel like I need to, like, find a way for her to go away. Yeah. Ooh. Can I use the cake on her? I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Maybe with the coffee? No. What's back here? Oh, poor girls. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. There isn't really a lot of rooms we can look around at the moment. Because, yeah, there's no further way to look on either side of the basement. Yeah, I'm going to check Nightmare Vision again. Can't blame those who are ignorant. What do I have to interact with you? A path to life has been denied. It's exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. I, yeah, because I don't seem to be able to interact with anything further. Like, I can't do anything with the phone. The alarm panel isn't on the wall. Hmm. Can I... Drug cinnamon bun on nurse's desk. Ah, oh. What do you mean it can't be done? Miss Ness, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. See, I don't seem to be able to interact with anything else. Yet. Hmm. Yeah, I just... I could do that, but the nurse would see me. Okay, let's... I know what I have to do now. Okay, now I can put the key on the key holder. Because I could interact with this in the nightmare. She'll see the key, and then she will... Yes, and there we go. Hope the nurse sees the key. Oh, the keys were here after all. I'd better take it back. Okay, there we go. 
So 29.32 for the alarm. Yes, I'm the best. I'm the very best. <coughs> Go, friend. You little bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. Oh, shit. Yes! Yes! You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No! Mr. Midnight? Oh, chase that kitty! I need to get to the maze. Can't catch me. I'm too quick. And I have my kitty to protect me now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to avoid the shadows and find kitty. For you to go past. Up this way, perhaps. Oh, this is looking promising. Damn it. Okay. But I did see that bridge up there, so I think I do need to go up this way. Okay, come on. Promising. I'm just going with my gut on this. Please. I just want to find my kitty. Hmm. That's a dead end, so not there. This way. Zeno, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Yes, guts are full of poop. That is why it is very important that you clean out uh, uh, seafood like prawns and shrimp before you eat them. And we got an achievement. At the end of the maze, you will find the evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. And there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Keep moving, Fran. Don't look back. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. 
We're off on our fun little adventure! Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Wow, a piano! It sounds old! Dear, your arm is gone. Good thing you're not bleeding. It says, Gents! And I have no idea why! I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog! Was it the Wizard of Oz, perchance? Let's have a little look, see how this looks. Oh! That was interesting. Okay. Okay, looks like we've got two paths. Let's... Oh, no, wait. So we just got left or right. No worries. Hello, tree! <gasps> Hello! Oh, wow! You really are a very big ant. Who's there? Are you real and... Nobody! Goodbye! Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Uh -huh, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell. Don't worry. But what are you doing here? Okay, bad things happen and my cat, my cat is out there. I want to find Mr. Midnight. My cat is out here somewhere and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat. With very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight! Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Uh, you haven't seen it or seen him around? Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up, and swallowed. Excuse me? Eaten or stop the nonsense. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. Blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have. Are you joking? And everything is wrong. Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? And you're a murderer! <laughs> what will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes, but I'm, I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How can you help? And I want to die. <laughs> how could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Make him vomit, or what should we do? Let's let's get him to vomit. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He's the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. I can do it, and I'm curious now. Yeah, we can we can get for the sake of Mr. Midnight. Yes, we can get uh, get him back. Kill your beetle pig friend. I can do it. Yes. Do it, you can kill the beetle pig. And I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Okay, I have just the crayon left. Why? Okay, I guess then the cookie with the sleeping pill was maybe a different way to do the thing? Maybe? I don't know. We eventually got there, that's what matters, we've escaped. What kind of bird are you? <gasps> so many cute flowers, critters! And an axe! Whoa, a terrible axe. I'll be a warrior and savior of things. Yes, let's check Nightmare. Ooh. Well, I could try and open it and see what's inside. Make an entry. 
Can I? Yay! Well, we do need to get Miss Midnight. Use axe on beetle pig. You get back here. Hmm. Is it just going to go back and forth? Okay, maybe we need to corner it somehow. Keep chasing it. Hmm. Okay, let's look down the well. Oh, can I take that feather? Yeah! Oh, a feather. Tickle, tickle. I like it. I'll keep it. Oh, can we use the feather on the beetle pig to make it laugh so hard it ex explodes or throws up? No, um... Hmm. Hmm. Let's have a look down the well. What a joke, there's no hole inside. All my forces are united to do something unnecessary. It must mean something, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Make an entry. That's what the crown's for, we need to make a door. Come on, I thought that was a smart move. Fine. Can I use the axe on the log? I can use the axe on the tree. Ooh, that's different. Curiosity be damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like that I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Uh, so anyway, and what are you? Yeah, what exactly are you? But what are you? You're kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why would be more appropriate? I don't have to time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. Just give it to me, or it's good to have an extra key. It's good to have an extra key. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. Okay, I'm Fran, or I'm a person. <laughs> Let's be amicable and introduce ourselves. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person, Fran. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please give me the key. Look, person friend, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key. Then all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I help? Oh, so you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Okay, I can do that for you. Give it to me. Give me the comb and I can fix you. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb. Now we're stuck forever. Find the thief in the comb, you'll get the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissistic rat. He took the comb to make himself beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. We'll be here, waiting. Hmm. I suppose I could also try using the axe on the tree. Oh yeah, and these ghosts are very cool. Let's try using the axe on the tree and see if that does anything. It can't be done. Okay. 
Gotta be another solution then. Maybe I can use the axe on this tree. Apparently not. Ooh. I can maybe use the axe on the, this tree in the real world. Negative. Okay. Huh. What am I doing wrong? Anything in there? Can we go to have a cozy, cozy place to stay? There we go. Oh, piano. Weird. Oh, you pig. Did you eat my cat? And then it squeals and runs away. Wonder if I use it now? It disappears entirely. Okay. Make an entry. Do I have to use the axe on the well again? Hmm. Your bits glass next to the pills make it looks like it's part of Fran's inventory. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll try it on the sign. Ah, oh, won't work. Okay. It's because I don't have anything else to combine it with. Oh. Hmm. Mr. Midnight, just wait, don't die. Can I use the crayon on the beetle pig? Hmm. Axe and crayon, no, axe and feather. Sorry, crayon and feather. doesn't seem to combine anything that I currently have. Yeah, I'll try using the feather on the tree. I think I tried that before, but it didn't do anything. Let's give it a try, though. Nothing. On the key. The axe on the tree. Nope. Axe on the long faces. Nope. Hmm. What am I missing? Hmm. Can I use the axe on you? Can't do that. Why not? He let Mr. Midnight get eaten by his pet. And he squeals and runs away. Yeah, I tried interacting with the planks of wood, but it didn't do anything. It just brought up the thing about how the well has no entrance. What a joke, there's no hole inside. Yeah, that's the only thing you can interact with. My force is united to do something unnecessary. Use the feather on. Hmm. Yeah, I tried using my axe on the junk that was here, but it didn't interact or didn't do anything with the piano. Oops. Tried on the broken bed, accordion, and the barrel, but none of those seem to work. Mm. 
Because yeah, I do like point and click adventure games, but when it gets in like frustrating and there's just no clear solution, that's when I start to get them. Because I don't want to look up a guide or anything like that. But I'm genuinely scratching my head like, okay, what am I doing wrong here? Can't use the axe on this stump or anything like that. Nope. Yeah, I just tried using the axe on the, the barrel and the broken door, but that didn't seem to work. No, didn't work on the barrel either. What am I missing here? Try using it on the log, but that doesn't come up either. Nope. Make something out of this it looks like a door okay anything else we can use because yeah then we can put that over the top of the well and make an entrance anything else okay let's go back to the well I should make it into a complete door before trying this. Combine the crayon with the door? Combine axe with old door. Huh. It has to be a complete door. I assume then it needs some kind of handle, but... We would need the key for it to open the door. But we can't get the key without finding a comb and I can't find the rat anywhere. Huh. And I can't go back into the sewer either where a rat would logically be. Now I'm just kind of scanning everything to try and find something to interact with. Because there's the sign, make an entry. Not sure what to do with this. Hmm. Because I think you can, like, combine this stuff regardless of whether you're in the real world or the nightmare world. But then it's just a matter of, like, what world you use it in. Huh. I might ask chat if someone can give me a nudge in the right direction because I'm like we got the door but we can't actually make it an entrance apparently until we find something else to make it a real door which for me means like a key or hinges or a doorknob or something. We could try using the feather on Antonio if that does anything. I think we tried that already but let's give it another go. Ah, the threat is great, great. Wake up. Sir, wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of getting killed. Oh, I see. But that's completely normal, isn't it? Well, yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries, the blueberries. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there are no berries or where can I find berries? I see, but where do I find these berries then? I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Where is your house, then?
We can't go any further left. Uh, sorry, we couldn't go any further right there. Oh, okay, it's open up now. There we go. <gasps> Hi, kitty. Oh, no. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. No, sweet angel baby. Okay, but I, I got the shit I need to do. Tiny little house. Oh, this is a really big anthill. Scary to think how many millions of ants must be inside. Hey, there we go. Ah, uh, what happened to... Mm. Where is it? It must be the ants' house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. Power of destruction will take it down. That's what the axe is for. <gasps> yes. Here we got the doorknob. Oh, a door handle to handle big problems. I'll keep it. This is perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Okay, we need glue for that. Yes, okay. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. There we go. I made a door. I wonder where it will take me. Not judging. <laughs> Someone forgot to clean the brush. That's odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. What a cute little lamp. Um, what's this? Underpants? <gasps> Berries. The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. I'm not sure what I can do with this. Hmm. I need those blueberries, though. Can I attack to the child with the axe? Can I use the crayon? Hmm. Doesn't seem to allow me to do that. Wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. There's water in the sink. Okay. Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. Okay. Let's go now, my world. Uh You tiny creatures, please don't eat me. I'm not taking that bag, not with all those ants on it. Oh, you poor child. I feel so bad. Mm, that doesn't seem to work. Mm. So you look so angry. Can I stop it, you bad pinecone? I need those blueberries. Can I move quickly and grab them? Hmm, I think I have to trick him, but how? I think it's definitely a need to knock you over. But then I can't seem to interact with anything else other than him. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Can't seem to interact with anything else other than the three here and try to interact with the blueberries. Yeah, it's gotta be something else.
Oh, I wonder, can I just use the axe on the small house? No, um... Don't get judgy on me, friend. I'm trying to find solutions to your problems. Okay, it can't reach the meat. Okay, there we go. Stand up, grab the meat, and then I think we could put the meat in the house instead. Here we go. Don't work it on the fire. Huh. Yes. There we go. I'll be taking that. The bag is an anti-bug sign. Hmm, the bag is open. Oh, a rat trap and some sort of card. One ticket and rat trap. Okay. We're going to use the rat trap here. I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need those berries. Now it's the mom hitting me. There we go. Yes, yes, I got them. They smell delicious. Okay. Oh, hello again. I'm worried about that cat though. Oh, let's have a look. Magic door on. Well, let's take care of the pig problem first. Oh, you pig, did you eat my cat? Did you kill the beetle pig already? I can't smell the fresh flesh. Now I can, I think. I'm sorry. You're cute, but I've got to... <gasps> it's a rat. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. But where is Mr. Midnight? I assume you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? What's the point of anything now? I was looking for my cat. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. So, options are really and my cat is also black. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, oh, then he's in trouble now. What happened? Why, what happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Be more specific? Oh my goodness, could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I could do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Can you give me your comb? Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then. But can you please comb my hair first? Fine. Yes, I can comb your hair. Yes, pet the rat! Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Yay! Rats. Are you happy? I killed your damn pig for you. The beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. I can't. Just so you know, there was no cat inside the beetle pig, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. My eyes are very old, you see. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy and sometimes I don't. 
Okay, let's get this key. Here's your beautiful kind, mistress. Oh, this game is so cute and creepy. I love it. Oh, Fran, the person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you want to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny mistress. Have a nice trip. And I'll be taking that. I got the key. Open. Why are you closed? I made you. That's what the key is for. It worked. Woohoo! It's so wholesome in a messed up kind of way. Absolutely. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? What? Oh no. No, friend! Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Where am I? Huh? What's this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh, no! Your head! Kitty? Wait a second, this isn't my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. God, Fran is just so tiny and so skinny. Like, I know it's part of the character design and it's heavily stylized, but just looking at her arms, she I'm so scared she's just gonna snap in two. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. I'm assuming these two over here are Clara and Mia. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. A cooker for cooking. My mommy told me how to use this. I'm grabbing all the things I can. <gasps> a knife. Oh, a sharp, shiny knife. You might be useful. Spatula. Sounds like Dracula, but it is... <laughs> to dry my little hands. I don't have any soup. I don't need a spoon. Fine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe it will attack me. I mean, it, stranger things have happened. Flower makes me sneeze, but that's a funny feeling. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Mmm, cookies in all flavors and colors. But we have a knife. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Mr. Midnight? Those girls, they took my kitty. Uh, we'll jump to Nightware World in just a second. I'm sure we're going to see it sometime soon. Let's look at everything nice for now. Box of matches. Very useful. Hang on. There we go. The bag smells funny. I'm not going to touch it. I don't like beans that much. Salt. A very good ingredient. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. What an odd little thing to eat. It looks like a seed. I'm just trying to, trying to grab all of the stuff I can pick up as soon as possible, and then it's easier for me to, like, combine stuff. I wonder who Mush is. Because he owns all the mushrooms. <gasps> Squirrel's body parts? I don't want to know. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they're insects. If there's garlic, there's no vampires. Pepper, always good for seasoning the soup. I won't take someone else's food. Not all of it, anyways. What a pretty can. I won't sit down. That might be useful later. This looks like a plant. Yes, it is, friend. Very observant. Now I really want cake. Oh, were these the two girls that I saw back at the asylum in that locked room that looked really, really sick? Oh, the creaking has me nervous. This isn't my cup. 
delicious and beautiful. That cake looks absolutely yummy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? Let's finish looking at downstairs first before I get too carried away. Oh, Vase put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Now I understand what the deer what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Cozy and warm. Well, this went in an interesting direction. Hello? Oh my goodness, the smell! Uh. Oh, a record player! I wonder if it works. I, Fran, you're just so traumatized that nothing concerns you anymore, does it? Jets. The Blueberry Tree Volume 1 and the Blueberry Tree Volume 2. And Antonio used to be a jazz singer? Oh my god, yes. Oh, typewriter. And it works. Oh, I can't see anything but water. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Okay, now let's go upstairs. The stairs end in a wall. Okay, so that's like to a dead end, but the stairs up here were actually useful. A monster who likes goats. The sisters, they look alike. A red rose in a painting, huh. The drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. <gasps> Black candles to light up the darkness. I'm gonna use those matches on those candles, I'm sure. Pink and blue, complete opposites. <gasps> a broom to fly away, or just to clean up. Sure, we'll grab a stool so we can reach that later. A mirror, but why isn't my reflection there? Ah, oh, it's that monster and so much blood. This is the normal room. We haven't even gone nightmare mode yet, and this is already the ambience being set. Oh, tweezers. To pick things up, let my little hands cart. This looks like a very old painting. My candles everywhere. Oh, these toys are so ugly. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Okay, I think that's all we can interact with for now. I wonder what the deal is with the doll heads and roses. Oh boy, let's go. See Nightmare Mode. Oh no. Oh, I see you're very comfortable there, little baby. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Great. How far can I climb? What's at the top? Get there from here. I need a bridge. Oh, will that you work? Hmm. There we go. Oh, that looks stable. Let's give it a try. And can I use the knife to do cut the rope? Hmm. Damn it. Okay, fine. Bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Hmm. Okay, there's got to be something else. Moonlight seed on moonlight reflection. Oh. 
Blue roses. Very yes, very nice. Moonlight rose, very pretty. Can't seem to do anything else with that for now, but the rose I'm sure we're probably gonna have to use later for something. Can't seem to interact with anything else for now. Hey, Scarlet, how's it going? Welcome. Okay, um, hmm. Anything I should be interacting with? Many tiny, tiny paintings. And there's a cat. Stairs into the wall. Because I hear someone upstairs, but. Can I use the tweezers in order to reach that? Yes. Please? There we go. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Uh, ah, ah, Kitty, Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? I found you. Oh my goodness, it's you, my beloved friend. I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. <gasps> oh, Fran. I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran. How did you find this place? After those people took you away into the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Okay, options. I'll open the cage and I wish none of this had happened. I... We have a moment with Mr. Midnight. I wish none of this had happened to us, Kitty. I'll open the cage. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish all this was just a bad dream. Okay, let's be strong. Everything's going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, we did. Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. That's concerning. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. It's great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, alright? I love you. Okay, we'll free you soon. Oh, everything up here is so spooky. A scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. Foxy, oh no. I wish I could take you out of there. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? Oh, that's, um, horrifying. That's all more horrifying. Uh. Thank you for the hydrate check. Oh, and the stretch check. Ah, thank you. Hmm, a lot of tiny stuff. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. It's a big umbrella. Dusty mirror and some other things. Hmm. Uh, 
That's horrifying. Let's go to the bedroom. Okay. White candles everywhere. Okay, do we go straight back to the well if we take the pills? Okay, yes. It seems like we only have one destination when we go nightmare mode. And that is here. Into the pit. Huh. What do we need to do, though? Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Bad piece of brew. Bad, bad. Because it feels like we need to get the message in the bottle. But we can't reach it. And now our broom is broken so we can't get across. Is there anything else? Hmm. Hmm. What am I not doing right? Weaver, are you serious? Weaver! I... Weaver, holy <laughs> shit. <gasps> Oh my god! Weaver, thank you so, so much for the 44 gifted community subs. Holy shit! Weaver, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you! Oh my goodness. Yes, to everyone who's um, uh, receiving a uh, gifted sub, um, and you haven't yet joined uh, the Discord, uh, now that you have a subscription, please go check out the Discord, we have a great time over there. But, Weaver, thank you so, so much for the gifted subs. So you only had a couple subs to go before your sub goal, so I decided to chip in. Weaver, you're so sweet, thank you. Oh, you're absolutely incredible, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I, I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Weaver. Okay, this is different. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? Uh, okay, my head or waiting for me? Mm. Waiting for me? Why? It's you, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm confused. Or what are you saying? Kind of the same thing. I'm sorry, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. Franbo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. It was very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How do you know all this? We simply have to know. We're a part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. Mm. I'm always happy to support someone as amazing as you whenever I can. Weaver, you have such a kind and generous heart and it's so, so appreciated. Thank you so, so much for being such an incredible part of my community and being so supportive. Thank you. I wish nothing bad had happened to me. I feel completely lost. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Okay, the dialogue options are, they won't come back, or I can't see any solution. Which kind of feels like me sometimes when I'm playing this game. Hmm. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. Uh, let, okay, options. Who told you about me and I'm not hungry? While that all looks delicious, let's ask some more important questions. 
Thank you, but I really need to know, who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? I would say yes, she's seen some pretty horrifying stuff. Uh, so question, do conjoined twins count as one person or two persons? That is a tricky question. I am... I am not at all sure what the definite answer would be, but I think if it's in a case like these two girls, which, with each of them having their own separate identity and having their own separate brain functions, then they would be... they would probably identify as two separate people. Whereas if, say, a person had a partially conjoined twin, but the conjoined twin didn't have any um, mental capabilities, maybe they, it was more, they just had additional organs and they didn't have a functioning brain, then they would count, they would qualify as one person, as one single identity, so to speak. So I'm sure maybe conjoined twins have, like, maybe identify themselves slightly differently, but I believe that might be the best term, is if it's two separate identities or two separate brains with own, their own unique thoughts and perceptions, then it would be two people. Uh, are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation is making me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. It's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm, and I love him. I love him! I love him and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes please, he's my best friend. Yes please, I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door. And that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. Hey, Zoro, how's it going? Welcome back. That was before I came here. They lived in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. There was also... That was also in the woods. And now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I'm going to turn eleven soon. And you? We're sixteen years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. Uh, dialogue options. You can't tell me what to do and open the cage. <laughs> oh, how's the lighting? That's a bit quiet. Ah, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm- I'm done. Open the cage. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around someone's home without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Now nah, I'm getting pissed off by them. I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Fuck you two. Do you understand? She threatened Mr. Midnight. Whatever you need. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magic spell on us. Do you like magic? Magic uh, comes in the form of strange medication in this game. <laughs> yes, Annie also did magic, but she had no idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. 
Okay, some of the lost old, uh, the old lost body, lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. You must, uh, this must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Okay. Some of these are a bit tricky. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself! We can't do it, it would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. Oh, the portrait in the background. They were stitched together. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You mean you weren't born like this? One night a long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we'll do that later, when we're no longer attached to each other. And show him that he's powerless and he will regret it. Okay, I'll try my best. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go talk to your cat. But you won't set him free yet. D don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> Meanies. Hmm. Fine, let's go talk to Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight. Go on, Fran, please let me out of this cage. Find the key. Okay. God, do we need to use, like, the knife to get uh, the head or something? Oh, that just makes me so uncomfortable. Okay, what was the recipe again? Oops. Head of a young virgin. That makes me think it's the kids. Heart of a frog. We need to look for a frog. Don't want to hurt Mr. Midnight. Pentagram made of ashes. We do have the ashes, though. And the burnt body of a the fox. There's the head of the fox. Where's the body? Uh... Mmm, that doesn't feel right. Head of a young virgin. The doll, maybe? Hmm. Let's keep looking. Hmm. No, that's not right either. Perfume smells like teenagers. <laughs> ah yes, the latest Ariana Grande scent. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Ugh. Salt and pepper. I think we've clicked this a couple of times, but there wasn't anything to interact with. There's so many books and things on the shelf. Smells like teen spirit. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <gasps> I saw you. It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Hmm. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Okay, yes, we can go outside. Hi, frog. Hey, you. Yes? Who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, but I know I could swim away from this place. 
but they won't let me every time I try to get out of here or I magically return. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How do you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Yes, we did. Well, that could be you if you tried to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Hmm. Let's ask her advice. Well, what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh? Creative? I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Okay, so we've probably got to be crafty about this and not like actively, like actually hurting the toad or Mr. Midnight. Oh, a long wooden plank. I could do something with this. Like walk across the gap in the stairs. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Am I going back to the well? Doubt is neither truth nor paper. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Why would you help me? I don't think we're taking very far. Okay, I don't see anything else I can interact with. Picnic rock. I'll leave it there. I like I like making frog sounds. They're fun. Creature noises are just fun in general. Okay. There we go. Can't lift it. It's too heavy for me. Can I cut it though? There we go. <gasps> How dare you! Oh, there we go. Oh, that burned. Why? There's no fire? Can't touch the bottle, it really burns. That's what the tweezers are for. Oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you'll understand the purpose of this act. You've tried to corrupt this essence, your soul be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, uh, we've been very good and already picked up most of these things. A blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to be witch. Draw a pentagram with ashes inside of the black and white square. Put the lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Oil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay. So we just need blood from the executor of the trial. Okay. Okay. Blood from the Executor of the Trial. So we need Fran's blood in that case, but we need their hair. So let's go back upstairs and see if there's a hairbrush or something that I missed. Hmm. No pillow, maybe? I'll lay down sleep tight when I get back home. Doesn't look like there's a hairbrush or anything around here. This looks like a very old painting. Maybe up here. What was it again? Blood from the executor of the, uh, the ritual. That's us. Hair from the person you want to be witch. Hmm. Hat, maybe? Just one hat. 
We need hair from both of them. Leave anything behind. Okay, still can't go up those stairs. Hmm. So we've done almost everything else. We just need the hair. And my blood. Let's go out here again, just in case. Did you find a solution already? Yeah, let's ask for a hint. I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that lets you see things others uh, that others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. Yes, you're right. Well, what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Doubt is neither truth on favor. Can I have some of your hair? My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. Doubters, I guess some people believe you when it's written down. Hmm. Okay. So I'm back here again. What am I missing? Where would the hair come from? Yes, you need a little bit of blood. I'm sorry, Fran. Yes, we got the blood. Now we just need the hair. Hair from the person you want to be witch. Where will we find this, though? It's midnight. Those girls, they took my kitty. I closed the window so the cold stays out. Head from a human, I guess? Huh. Got the ashes, the blood, hair from the person you want to be witch. Okay, so it sounds like we put all the other ingredients, except for the candles and the ashes, into the cauldron when that's all set up, but we just need the hair. I'm kind of scratching my head. Where do we get the hair from? Hmm. So yeah, we've, I think we've already gotten everything we need from the well, at least for now. What am I not seeing? Because yeah, if I'm back inside the house, I just immediately go back to the well. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a hint on where I can maybe get the hair because I'm I'm about almost literally like scratching my head about this thinking like, what am I not getting because I managed to pick up everything else or find everything else. I can't see anything where I'd be able to get the hair from. Because I thought like, oh, maybe like a hairbrush or something left on the pillow. Little keyhole. I wonder if there's a key for this one. Probably. Uh, pro it's probably the key that the girls have on them. Ah. Oh, okay. Clever. Okay. 
I'll take the sheet down to the typewriter. That didn't even occur to me. Okay. I could write on this recipe, but I need it just as is. Okay, let's use the other one then. That was it. Doubt is write the truth on paper. Okay. That's what I wasn't putting together. Okay. Six. Hair from your head. Oh, what should I do? Uh, where are they? There they are. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Did you kill the frog? Did, did you guys kill the frog? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let them know. Let us know when you're ready. Okay. Oh, it wasn't the frog. Girl, I think you need help getting rid of that bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't trust me. We want to get out of here. That bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Thank you. I think we kind of have everything. Okay, so our ritual requires draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put the highlighted, put the lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Yes. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? No hair is needed. We know that. Look for yourself. But look for yourself. It's written down here, in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. Thank you. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I think we're ready. We have everything else. Got the ashes, the blood, the hair, the candles, the matches, the rose, salt and pepper. Okay. Put the light back out. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil. Okay, I think we're ready. We're waiting for you, Fran. Okay, is there a spot already set up for me? Do we do this upstairs? We'll get you out, Mr. Midnight, don't you worry. Hmm. Okay, we've got everything we need. How do we actually start this? Hey, welcome back, Desiree. Okay, I've got everything I need for the ritual. Why can't I start this? Oh, okay. There we go. They've got it all set up for me. So I've got the painted tiles. Okay, let's do this right. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put the light of black candles on every point of the pentagram. Okay. Ashes first. Good on you, friend. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Use black candles. Put one candle here and the other's over here. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to get my kitty back. Okay, we need the cauldron. Oh, I'll keep this, uh... Sorry. I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. After we've done wonderful things with it. Fill it with water. There we go. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, put lighted black candles on every point of the pentagram. Okay. Light the candles. And let me just double check. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Okay. So the blood, the rose, salt and pepper, and hair. Oops. I'm trying to put it into the pot, but it won't work. What the hell? Oh, we have to boil it first. Okay. Hang on. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it and then boil. Okay. Use matches on the stove. There we go. So, salt and pepper, the rose, the hair, and the blood. Hope it tastes good, tra la la! Okay. Okay, boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay. Girls, I've got something for you. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. I've got something for you. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. I do feel kind of bad about this. Like, they were bullies to Fran, but they this terrible thing happened to them, and they were trying to get themselves fixed, but this was not the way to go about it by threatening my friend. And now I'll say the words. One tide air crown, air by me, oh, in noble, tamimbre, in one tide in ekran. Bema fromen, mon dirk of him. In your air, it was in a bomb egg. In Brunus in Snee. Wait a second, that isn't the right spell. You tricked us. Well, I'll be taking that then. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this isn't right. Mickey, now I can use to free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. Before we go up there first, I know there's like a keyhole in the mirror of their bedroom. I wanna just quickly look at that first and then we'll go get Mr. Midnight. Key was for this keyhole. What's that? A puzzle? <gasps> okay, I know what we gotta do. Okay. How many pieces can we move? Got to get the big one in there, I think. Okay. 
Oh, hang on. I think we have to get that down to there then. Okay. Thankfully, these move very quickly so I can quickly shuffle them about. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Because all three, these three cogs are the same, so I think it's maybe this big one that has to go here. Yes. might be a bit tricky. Okay, that can't be moved. I need to swap those three down for there. Okay. swap those two around. Come on. Damn it. This puzzle would really grind my gears. It's definitely grinding my gears. I'm just, ooh, I, I need to get this. I feel like I'm close to getting this. But then I, it's that one in the way, damn it. If I just had one extra slot to move these around I'd be great but oh Okay. There we go. Promise. We, Clara and Mia Bolome, 
promise to revenge the unfair destiny Edward decided for us. With blood and tears we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Weaver, thank you so much for the 15 bits. Puzzle accomplished. I do like me a good puzzle. I do love a good puzzle. <laughs> but thank you so much for the bits. Mother must die. Uh, that's blue rosette. I like it very much. A pink rosette. Pretty hair decoration. Yeah, all oh, these two poor girls were sewn together. And interesting, they had um the yellow duotine. We have the red duotine. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage. Finally. Interesting. Like I am also playing, uh, because I think this was a newer version of Franbo that came out a couple of months ago. Like they did a slightly tweaked version that came out and had um different like promo art and stuff like that so it wouldn't surprise me if maybe they've added some extra puzzles into this game um or they've added some more variations for how you can solve puzzles rather than having everything having exactly one solution i could be wrong um maybe the promotional art uh that they had for uh the game on steam was just like extra shiny oh but the poor girls what's this two skeletons Mr. Midnight, we've got something. I think this is the key. <gasps> it worked, my dear kitty, it worked. Come out, let me hug you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Fran. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, that Fran, my good friend. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, once like we get to the start of the next chapter, we're going to call it a night, I think. Okay, do we leave via the window? I did it, so I told the girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. Can you help us? I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite malleable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. The bike, maybe? You rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Pink roses. Oh, I pricked my finger. Hmm. How do we leave? Hmm. Yeah, the, the no further rooms that we can explore. <laughs> I need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. Huh. So I want to get to the end of the chapter and then we'll head out. Uh, head out for now. Moonlight on the water, you're so beautiful and calm. Hmm. No, we don't have baking soda. Ooh. King Leo's baking soda. This always made the biggest cupcakes. 
Like, do we need to use baking soda? Baking soda on the frog, okay. Take this dough, it may help. But you're slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work, here it goes. Okay, honestly, I wouldn't have gotten that were it not for you guys, so. Okay. It worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright. If he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay. We'll try not to hurt him too much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, but we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, Nautical Menace, how's it going? Hey, girl, before we go, I've got to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh, he got our picture back! And this book was with it, too. Ooh. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo! Thank you very much! I thought I had lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> that is adorably creepy and I love it. Okay, yes. Now we're playing Frogger. Okay. Because yeah, it feels like this is new. Okay, need to get a little bit closer. family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find a way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Okay, and with that joyous reunion, I think we're going to wrap things up for now. So let's save. I should have probably been saving along the way, just in case, but let's do a quick backup. And with that, let's head back to the main menu. Alrighty, we did so much tonight. We're like good two chapters into this game. It's so cute. I will say some of the puzzles are a bit, like... Usually I'm quite good with puzzles and uh, point-and-click adventure games. Sometimes, of course, you have answers that completely throw you for a loop. And, like, using baking powder on the toad, I would have never thought of. So, uh, definitely in the future, whenever I get really stuck, I'll just gently nudge you guys for just a little hint in the right direction. Of course, don't spoon feed me the answers. Um, but sometimes I'm just genuinely scratching my head like, What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> 
Um, but this was fantastic. I can't wait to continue Fran Bo uh, on next Monday. And uh, on Wednesday, we'll be continuing Tavern Talk, which I'm very excited about. And on Friday, we will be continuing Baldur's Gate 3 and having our confrontation uh, with uh, Ketherick in his final form. So I'm very excited about that. But thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. Uh, I'm just so excited to see what happens next in this amazing game and all the other games that we're playing at the moment. So if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, then please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You are welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now, including my two YouTube channels, one for my ASMR tales and the other for my Twitch VODs, and my Twitter, my Insta, and my TikTok. I currently have an ongoing 24-7 broadcast over on my main YouTube channel, which is a collection of ASMR tales as well as uh, some creepypasta narrations. So if you enjoy my voice and find it soothing and relaxing, then be sure to check out that broadcast and give it some love. Alrighty. Let's see who's currently live and we can go say hi. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You know what? We haven't said hi to them in a while. Let's go say hello to Hobby Tan because they're really cool, really nice. So let's go say hello to Tan. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. A big thank you to everyone who renewed their subscriptions. Huge thank you to everyone who gifted subs and uh, sent bits. Thank you so, so much, my lovelies. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you on Wednesday for more Tavern Talk. But until then, remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. <laughs> Good night, my lovelies.